Garrett Linda. Hey everybody, I'm Garrett. And I'm Carolyn. We're Diary of a Family. We're living life intentionally with you. Yes, we have holiday Christmas. I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't see that until I just looked in the camera. Yes. Happy holidays. Welcome to our... Merry Christmas. Live stream. Sorry, I'm trying to find on my phone <clears throat> comments from our last video. Because we're going to be answering that question that Emma threw out there during our visit to Mount Rushmore. If, if you, you have, yes, go ahead. If you haven't checked out Mount Rushmore, our Mount Rushmore adventure video, make sure to go check that out. Um, and we look forward to seeing your guys' answers if you haven't yes. already. But <laughs> so, gluten free monkey commented his guess. Jarhead and Ginger's Journey, they also guessed. Um, RV Media Creators guessed. So we will see. And you can throw it out there. Uh, Emma has narrowed the presidential guessing game down to the four presidents that are on Mount Rushmore. What is her favorite president? Who is her favorite president, I should say? Anyway, welcome everyone. We have X marks the spot. We have Rayleigh Cre and Rayleigh's creative Rayleigh creative travel and Nurse and our travel bug welcome. has popped in. Hey guys, welcome. Natasha, we're all doing fine and Emma is doing well. Okay. Woo. She was having a conversation with me yesterday because um, Emma had texted Natasha on her kids app and made it sound like all of us were sick. No, it was just her. <laughs> it's just Emma. Just Emma. And actually, she's doing, uh, I think she's doing better, but she was throwing up a bunch yesterday. <laughs> don't know exactly where she got she it from. None a, of us. She none. has a weak stomach. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Weak stomach. Uh, question of the video. Tell us, oh, well, it's more of a, a statement, but way to be a part of the conversation. Tell us in the chat or in the comments what your favorite Christmas or Thanksgiving memory is. Uh, my was. mom has put in her answer for Emma's uh, guessing game. Abraham Lincoln is what she is guessing Emma's favorite president is. So yep. she has thrown it in there. So it in put it in the chat and we will make sure to mention it on live on the air. And if you are re-watching this, put it in the comments and we'll respond. We love hearing your guys' stories and it's just awesome. Oh, mom, she's fine. Emma is fine. Yeah, she's um, fine. She is perkier today and has held down juice and now some jello. Yeah. So I think she's on the mend. I don't know what it was, <laughs> but um, she, uh, yeah, I have my suspicions of how she got whatever she's got, but that's okay. She kept running around with no shoes on for like three well, days. Well, now, that's not going to make you <laughs> sick. Okay, that's like that's ancient thinking there. <laughs> Cold feet does not give you sickness. Anyway. Nurse Nurse Travel Bug said N Benjamin Harrison. Everyone's favorite. <laughs> Was Benjamin Harrison a president? Do I not know? For like know? a week. Oh! He, he, during his inaugural address, he didn't wear a coat. And then he died of um, pneumonia. How do I not a know week that later. story? I don't know. She must have not watched uh, Parks and Rec. Uh, how do I not know that story? I thought I could... I thought I knew all our presidents, mostly. Yeah. I mean, I can't, like, list them off, but if you tell me a name, I'm like, oh, wasn't he a president? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know who this guy is. Yeah. All right. For those of you rewatching, you've got to get on so that you can see our chat, because it's hilarious sometimes. A lot of times. If you really are interested and want to watch, you can usually right around the video, it says chat live replay if you're rewatching this, and you can just follow watch along the with the chat. Watch the on. It's pretty funny. Rayleigh Creative Travel says, We were at Mount Rushmore November 23rd. Pretty cool to finally get there and probably pretty cold, too. I can imagine. Until, we were uh, there in October. Yeah. It was warm. It was warm. It was warm enough, yeah. And, then, and they were saying usually about this time of year, it's starting to get cold. For some reason, there was a little extra warmth going on. And, we're, and Carolyn was like, I don't mind. I, was I like, don't mind at all. 
I do not mind. I like the warmth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, X marks the spot has an answer to your question. Favorite memory visiting grandma's house and playing with cousins at the holidays. That's Thank awesome. you for that. Uh, yeah, I remember visiting both sets of grandparents and we'd spend the night at one set. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the evenings at Grandma York's house were pretty, pretty fun. She always had a big bowl of mixed nuts still in the shell with oh, a little wow. old nut So you had to work for it. So you got to crack your own nuts. It's not work, <laughs> it's fun. So there. So wow. there. In the summertime, we would play downstairs in her basement. Um, that was fun. In the winter times, it was being cozy by the wood stove. Yeah. So there's two presidents named Harrison. So you said that that was William Henry Harrison, and he was uh, president for 31 days. I'll have to look at who Benjamin month. Harrison was. Cause... He was president for a month. Eesh. Guys, this is brunch time, so if you're eating, that's great. Of course, you know, uh, East Coast time, they're it's like, lunch. it's lunch time. And West, West Coast is like, we're just climbing out of bed. <laughs> Get me my coffee. We wanted to catch you guys early today. We have some evening plans, mm -hmm. and we wanted to be able to connect with you guys because it's been over a month. It has. We're sorry. I know we promised a beginning of the month yeah. sort of live stream, up, but we've had a lot going on, so we'll recap that. Um, also, my favorite Thanksgiving moment, and that was, uh, I guess, more recent was proposing to uh, Carolyn on oh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yes, we have pictures. And that, I don't know if we have told the story too many times, mm -mm. but, um, you know, we decided, and I had it all planned out. I had, I had her sisters involved. I had her mom and dad involved. Everyone but so her embarrassing. knew what was going on. So embarrassing. <laughs> and <laughs> we were... Going around the room, there was like mm -hmm. 20 of us in that room, and we were like, Telling, tell us something you're thankful for. And I was, I was telling, I was thankful for my family, I was thankful for friends, and then I was thankful for Carolyn, and then she just started in, and I'm thankful for... I thought for, it was my turn. She thought it was her turn. Because like, he paused a long time. <laughs> I was a little nervous. <laughs> Anyways, I I basically was like, um, Carolyn, I'm Hold not on. done I'm yet. I'm not done yet. I'm like, and oh, I'm and I go into my whole, like, I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful that God sent me to you and got down on my knee and proposed. And it was tears. And, oh, yes. And, yeah. Oh, the yes. rest is his history. Yes. But <laughs> it was funny because I was just like, <laughs> like, really? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I took come the, on. I took the steam out of his out of his boiler it took the wind out of his sails but I'm it was so such sorry. a surprise she had no idea that well it was... no because like i think you were planning to propose on christmas and i think what your pastor or your youth pastor said why uh, the heck pastor. are you waiting yeah why are you um, waiting pastor pastor steve was like so you have her parents permission you have the ring you have the ring why are you waiting well yeah why are you waiting just so just do it. i guess i had kind of expected more around Christmas time. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, Thanksgiving is great because your parents were married on Thanksgiving. Yes. And there was something else. Was there know. one of the grandparents' birthdays or I think I don't my grandpa my grandparents anyway. on my dad's side had There's a lot of dates that corresponded. So I think we got and married Edison's, on your grandparents' anniversary. Yeah. And then Edison's birthday every once in a while falls on Thanksgiving as well. I don't think so. Does it? He's only five. We've never had a Thanksgiving yet with his birthday landing on it. It's close enough. It, it probably close. will happen at it some probably point. It probably will. It probably will. But as far as I know, as far as I remember. Anyways. Oh, uh, Rayleigh Creative Travel says, I love the cold, so it wasn't bad at all. That's good. I'm glad. I like and, the and, cold and, myself. Uh, Garrett and Nursing Our Travel Bug, you guys are still like having this conversation about the president. And nobody know. knows him. Ha, 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 ha. He was only president for 31 days. <laughs> I think she was talking about Benjamin Harrison. He's like, nobody knows him. I'm. Now I have to get a list and like Research study who it. that one, that person Who is, is this president? 
Who was this president? <laughs> All right. Um, well, let's give them a little bit of an update and then let's um, break it to them. What Emma's, who Emma's favorite president um, is. Also, I think we're going to, um, we have something from the summertime that we oh. have not um, resolved. Um, oh. Well, not resolved. Um, uh, announced. Our oh. Summer to Serve donations, when you went and bought a Summer to Serve t-shirt, yeah. we were going to give the proceeds to a charity. It's Christmas time now. It's Christmas time. Good time and to we are sitting still for a while and the craziness has passed and we have basically about $50 that we want to donate to a charity. Thank you guys. Every one of you who bought a t-shirt or sweatshirt. Yep. It was really awesome. Um, I mean, even the little things this time of year, it's going to help hugely. Uh, we actually put together some more um, uh, kits for homeless and um, people. And I've been looking around trying to ho hopefully seeing some homeless in the area, but really haven't. I don't know. There's I guess... There might not be a ton I out. guess in, in Athens takes care of their people really well or something. You usually find more homeless around bigger cities, and we're not really in a big city sort of area. Yeah. But we plan to give those away. We have two kits. Uh, we helped make about 50 kits. Yeah, we uh, during our birthday bash right here. We'll talk about that too, the rally yeah. that we went to. Yep. Um, so later in the video, make sure to put in any charities you think would be a great charity to give some money to. Uh, this is a, definitely a season for giving, and we want to help somebody out. So put it in the chat for yes. sure. So we will choose choose one. Yep. So we will we will revisit that later in the video. So stay tuned. Oh, if we're talking about that too, I think I have my note from Operation Gratitude. Um, I don't no, it's over in the corner. Oh. But go ahead and continue on. I'll grab that and we can talk about it when we get to the... So since we last did our li last live stream, we have done quite a bit of traveling. Um, one of the more exciting and fun places we went was the bass pro shop at the pyramid in memphis oh that was fun um we did a fun creative video you guys will have while we so were there and we want to if if you watch a lot of youtube videos or your kids watch videos they'll really appreciate it i think it strikes on something kind of cool and we don't want to technically give it away right now. <laughs> well, I mean, we could do part of it. Just tell them what it was that we did. Uh, we did a scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunts are always so much at fun. At the Bass Pro Shop. But I put it together in the car ride, the travel day. As you know, we're heading there. As we're heading there. So we spent the night there overnight, um, heading into Tennessee. Yep. Or to, out of Tennessee. Out of Tennessee out into of Tennessee. Arkansas. Anyway, it was really fun. And the kids ended up getting to go up in the. They went up the we went up the elevator. Up and the, uh, if you guys don't know, this Bass Pro Shop they bought this ginormous pyramid. Yeah. It's a building that is a pyramid. Like I think literally. it was supposed to be like an event center or, or some kind of center. convention yeah. center, and it was, I believe, it was going broke. Like they were going out of business. Yeah. And they Bass Pro the Shop ended up taking over and. It's their headquarters. It's their now, headquarters now. Yeah. So, pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, that'll be a fun video. Do you have an idea when when you'll be editing that one, so they can be looking for it? Um, I have two more videos on our, well, one more video on our trip. So look for it in so the new year. Look for it in okay. probably three to four weeks. Very good. But, Very good. Um, then we finally made it. Our next real major stop. We, we stopped at a, what was it, a Walmart. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could tell them that story about the Walmart in Hope, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, uh, you, you can tell it. <laughs> our island broke. Our kitchen island in the middle uh, broke somewhere between Memphis and... <gasps> Hope, Arkansas. <laughs> we found out about it while we were traveling. We stopped for lunch, and it was like 
it, it huh? looked like this. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, it was. I was like, what is wrong? We're not on a hill or something like that. And then I realized that, you know, the bottom of it was like closer to the ground. <laughs> Yeah. Like, what is going on? Garrett, this thing totally collapsed. Yeah, so we were like, um, <laughs> oh, great. So what are we going to do? Because this is not yeah. a... And it had been getting looser over the years. It was never something that was, like, rock solid. No, but I mean... But we thought, hey, it's supposed to flex a little bit with yeah. the movement. Yeah. And it was... <laughs> so... While we were at the Silver at the Hope Arkansas Walmart, we were like, "Great, we gotta get this fixed." We gotta get it fixed. We had tried just putting a piece of two by four underneath it to hold it up, sort of, so that it wouldn't like mess up any of the plumbing underneath, because of course yeah. it was the plumbing side that was squished down, yeah, the sink side, and um, um, it had bounced right off and was like hanging down again. So we're like, we have to get this fixed. And I, I didn't feel like I could wash any dishes in the sink until it was fixed. Yeah. Yeah. So we made, we we did some, what do you call it? MacGyvering. Cr MacGyvering. Yeah. We determined where the anchor points were. Yep. And we put some inch and a half long screws, yeah. about six of them, into multiple awesome. spots. And it's it's rock better than solid. ever now. I mean, it's better than it ever was. It doesn't like rock at all anymore. Yeah. So that was an interesting <laughs> fix. And we're like, so if you see our, an Instagram photo or a Facebook photo off of our diary of a family, go ahead and check that out. If you'd like to follow other people on other social media platforms, um, <laughs> you'll see a photo of me holding a hammer and a screw gun. And that was us fixing that Island problem. I was really concerned it was going to mess up, like, the plumbing underneath. But, but I think it's it was pretty, flexible enough down there. Yeah, it's pretty flexible. Because, I mean, all that plumbing moved a good inch down, yep. at least. But it wasn't enough anyway. to <laughs> cause much damage there. We're glad. We're glad yep. it's all taken care of, so. <laughs> so, so yeah. that's that's what happened in Hope, Hope Arkansas. Yep. And then we finally made it back to Texas. Uh -huh. We spent some time with our friends uh, in Sulphur Springs, and who knows? We'll uh, we're trying to figure out what our plans are next year, and we might be doing some traveling around Texas, and maybe spending a few more time, some more time in areas where um, our friends are staying. So we don't know exactly what life will bring. I'm just getting on our live stream, so I can oh, okay. see chats here too. <laughs> Well, I was I was wondering because no one's been chatting Nobody's for the last been couple chatting, minutes. Nobody's been chatting, so I did want to check to make want... sure that we were still no problems with our, our feed. Yeah. Everything looks good now. If you guys are still watching and enjoying, leave a comment. In they're there. all sipping their coffee. Yeah, they're all sipping their... They're all like, ah, I'm tired. Let me go back to bed. <laughs> but, uh, and then after we left Sulphur Springs... Carolyn did her first campground to campground drive. <laughs> that was that was good. I mean, we're we're easing I only her drove into for like forty minutes, forty five yeah, minutes. Yeah, it was like thirty miles. It wasn't bad. It was not but bad. But I drove from the campground in Sulphur Springs to Lake Tawakini Thousand Lake Trails. To Lake Tawakini Thousand Trails, and then I got out at the gate and, and let him park take it. over. <laughs> she was like, "Here you go." I'm not gonna park that thing. I'm gonna destroy something. She was super, super nervous and stressed out, and she did a fantastic job. I And it was all straight roads. There was one or two turns, but nothing big or crazy. Uh, so. The first time I ever drove our trailer was the other one. And we went to Leavenworth, and there was that crazy <laughs> hairpin turn, and I, like, crept around it. I didn't even know it. that crazy I'm hairpin like, was there. I'm, like, 15 miles per hour, and it's like, I'm going to crash into something! Well, and it was funny. our first time out there. Uh, yeah. Like way, like, yeah, there's yeah. a thousand trails out at Leavenworth, Washington. It's way out of Leavenworth, though. Like, Ten miles We'd been side. to Leavenworth, and we knew what the town was like, but it has you turn and go, like, way out in the country. And there's yeah. this crazy, like, you're coming down this hill and around this really tight corner. Well, it's a hairpin turn. You pro I think we were at, like, five miles an hour going 
around it that curve. It was cray cray. I thought basically I was kill it. just told her to turn way far out into the other lane and then cut back in. And by the time <laughs> we did it, I think our tires were on the white line on the inside. So <laughs> I was so scared. So she scared. did fine. And then other than that, she's done one or two times where she was from like rest stop to rest stop. You you've driven it like what four times now? Four or five yeah. or six. I don't know. Um, X marks the spot, said, just raise the stabilizer jacks. Good idea. Got you in my pocket listening. <laughs> oh, your pocket started complaining, <laughs> did it, Bill? Or, uh, 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 Richard. Richard. Your pocket started complaining, so you had a comment. <laughs> uh, have a safe trip to your guys' work camping location. Yes. Uh, we can't wait to uh, see how you guys settle in. Yep, drive safe. Yep. Drive safe. But we uh, we were at Lake Tawakani mm -hmm. really just to blow, well, just to rest and mm -hmm. kind of just waste a few days because we were heading down to Lake Conroe, Thousand Trails. How did we skip the birthday bash altogether? We did the birthday bash on the last uh, oh, did we? live stream. Okay. But um, if you haven't caught remember. our last live stream. I don't remember. We yeah. talked about birthday bash? Yeah, it was November okay. 2nd. All right. Or it was just before. Sorry, you guys. I have mommy brain. I have tired brain. For those of you that watch our channel and follow along, did we talk about <laughs> the birthday bash? Because I thought we did. She thought we didn't. And so I'm not. It's I'm okay. I'm very confused now. It's okay. We did birthday bash in October. October? Yes. October. Beginning of October. Well, it was just Cause after. Because I know we talked about Mayberry, but did we talk about birthday bash? No, birthday bash was the week out, so it was the beginning of um, November. November. So maybe we were just got there and did the live stream. Hmm. Yeah, I'm confused. That's okay. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, so Lake Tawakani, we had a couple of days. We enjoyed um, just chilling. Just relaxing. chilling out. Um, Lots if, of leaves on the ground. They have so many oak trees. If you have a metal detector... Let us know. We'll tell you a spot where one of our kids might have lost their ring. Emma lost her special ring that we bought her in um, Virginia, Virginia City. City. And it's somewhere along the edge of the lake. She was out playing in this really shallow water that was kind of muddy. Yeah. And it was she didn't realize that she had lost it. And so she didn't see where she, it had gone to. Yeah, it's and, this really pretty... Um, it's not jade. What is it? It's a uh, blue stone. That bluish green. Um, anyway. Yeah. It's a really pretty ring, and the the guy we bought it from thought it was like a '50s or '60s style. So yeah. it's a pretty old ring. But anyway, I wish that we had had a metal <laughs> detector. I and there's spent, my travel bug said no detector, metal detector here. Uh, I spent a lot of times wading around in the water, <laughs> like feeling for it and thinking we're never finding this ring. We're never yeah. finding it. Oh, baby. And we tried a few, <laughs> take up magnet fishing. Yep. Well, I've, I've thought of it and maybe at some point I will. But I, I think it from. will probably be buried. Probably. Because of how much sediment was in that water. It's pretty muddy. Um, but yeah. I've seen them use the little like wand metal detectors out in the sand and in the water and, and we've had to dig up. There's a fellow full time cool families stuff. that went out there looking and looked for looking for it just yeah. after we left but they never actually found it. So we're willing to pay somebody to find if it. If you are ever at Lake Tawakani <laughs> and you want to do a little bit of a <laughs> scavenger hunt, let uh, us know. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Email email us. The link is in the description. Woohoo! <laughs> um. All right. Magnet fishing. That sounds like fun. Yep. You gotta have a really strong magnet. And then we finally made it further south than Waco. True. <laughs> um, heading to Lake Conroe. Yeah. We went all the way down to Lake Conroe for like nine days. Yeah. Which was a lot of fun. Posh Cats Camping, welcome! Happy, Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all. Yeah, they're having dinner right now. So Aww. we have, my parents are having breakfast. And Nurse and our travel bug is having lunch. And, and Posh, Posh Cats, Cats is, is having, having dinner. dinner. Yay! Awesome. 
Anyways. Uh, Trev and Sue, make sure you have a happy, a merry, merry Christmas. Yeah. So, yeah. We met up with a ton of full-time families. I mean, there was a lot. Of, there's there probably was? about 100 people worth of full-time families. Yeah. About 10 families. <laughs> Okay, more than 10 uh, families. Okay, maybe like 20, 25 families. <laughs> anyway, but. yeah, quite a few families were down there for Thanksgiving. Um, Lake Conroe is a really nice park. Mm -hmm. um, their uh, laundry system's pretty cool. It's all on this app, and you just put money on the app, and you can even, like, scan the machine you want to get started. And, and then it, it just times pops it. everything in, yep. and it times it, and it sends a message to your phone when the machine has gone off, and... <laughs> it was really cool, but now we have an outstanding balance in an app that we, who knows when the next time we'll use it. And it's like, hey, it's like, by the way, you, have you haven't done one. laundry in a while. Do you need to add some money to do laundry? I'm like, I just deleted my app. You can just delete yours. <laughs> delete the app. Just delete the app and it won't send you messages anymore. <laughs> ah. All right. There you go. Delete it. There you go. So it was really nice, though, because um, deleted. you use somebody else's link to get signed up to do it, and Ooh. they get $5 when you use it, and you actually get $5 uh, for free. So, My dad just popped on. Hello, hello. Hi. He said silver is not magnetic. Was it silver? I mean, well, I hope the, it was silver. Could a metal detector even detect it then? If it's non-ferrous? I, I don't know. I think a metal detector can detect other metals even if it's non-magnetic right yeah sorry uh x marks the spot they said they would have been <laughs> happy to questions. look for it they, been, they were there questions. for three days oh no you would have had to wade into the water yeah, it was this is gonna be for the... like hardcore like my metal detector is waterproof and i'm wearing boots or it's a hot <laughs> summer day and i don't mind getting wet like uh, she was in the water yeah <laughs> gluten-free gluten-free monkey Getting lunch at Costco. Okay, so gluten-free monkey. We uh, shall we come back to what we were talking about earlier because he's on. Yeah. Um, so you commented on our last video, uh, what you thought Emma's favorite president was, um, and actually, um, you were not the only one. Let's see. I'm trying to remember who el who was okay. the other one. They are clarifying that a metal detector will detect silver. Mm -hmm. It's just a mag magnet won't pick it a up. A magnet won't pick it up because it's yeah. not... Because it's not magnetic. Not magnetic like that. Got okay. it. So, Jarhead and Ginger's Journey guessed that Emma's favorite president is Lincoln. And Gluten-Free Monkey did so as well. And he did it first. Uh, yeah. And then RV Media Creators... Uh, said her favorite president was George Washington. We found out from Edison today that that is his favorite that's, president. That's Edison's favorite. My favorite president is my favorite president is um, the one who was the first one. <laughs> that's how he said it. And Timothy's was Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt, because he built the Panama Canal. Oh, was that his reasoning? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, and then. Um, your mom, Denise, said mom that her pre her favorite was Lincoln. So Lincoln. everybody's consensus seems like it's Lincoln. it's Lincoln. Does anybody else want to weigh in before we um, ask her? In. Before we yeah, tell you or have her tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Just hint, hint. It is one of the four that is on Mount Rushmore. Do you guys even know what are the four presidents on Mount Rushmore? Yeah. yeah, that's 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 a deep one. They're on most of the. You would coins. know what it is if you watched our video. <laughs> anyway, hint, 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 wink, hint, wink, hint, wink, hint. wink, no, wink, wink, ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Um, we also did something really fun while we were in in the Houston area, but we'll tell you after after this. Mm. That's going to be such a good video, you guys. Uh, I almost want to just do that one first. No, 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 no. You have, to do the, you have to do the pyramid first because that was really cool. That the was really pyramid? cool. The pyramid. Pyramid. The pyramid. You said pyramid. Pyramid. You heard it wrong. <laughs> nope, I didn't. Didn't hear it wrong. <laughs> Who said it? You guys can hear what she oh, said. Oh, no, no, no. Let no, me no, know no, in the no, chat. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no. 
curing them. I was like, what are you putting in that? It's tea. It's just tea. Is it? It's just tea. Smell it. It's just tea. Just tea. Hmm. I promise you. <laughs> Do we want to have cinnamon tea? Cinnamon and orange and stuff. Like cinnamon, that. cinnamon. Good Earth is a really good brand. I yep. really enjoy them. Um, this one. All right. And thank you for joining Rayleigh Creative Travels. Have a bye -bye. awesome day. Merry Christmas. Safe travels. Merry Christmas. This one says no one ever died from sleeping in an unmade bed. It's a hmm. quote. By Irma Bombeck. She must have hated making beds. Uh, apparently. <laughs> anyway, sometimes I find a quote by Gandhi or whatever on the little tea thingy. Yeah. The tea thingy. What is that called? The tea tab? The tea tab? The tea tab. Sure. All right, are you guys ready? Nobody's guessing, so we're going right. to go ahead and tell you what Emma's favorite president is. Do you want Emma to come in here? Do I don't know. She's been sick and she hasn't brushed her hair yet. You could poke your head out there and ask her if she wants to come on. But she hasn't brushed her hair yet. She looks a little messy. Emma. Do you want to come on live? Do you want to come on the live stream and tell people? Sure. She says sure. She doesn't care what she looks like. All right. Show people your hair. <laughs> Hi. <sighs> Emma. Mm hmm We had uh, four guesses on what your fav who your favorite president was. Yeah. Um, RV Media Creators, your dad, guessed uh, George Washington. And then Gluten Free Monkey and um, Grandma, Niece, and Jarhead and Ginger all guessed Abraham Lincoln. So, who is your favorite president? Da 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 da! Abraham Lincoln. You got it right! Yay. Everyone's a winner! <laughs> Good job. Good job. You can go back to your show. Okay. Bye. Oh, my mom was saying that we left Brazil on Christmas. We left Brazil on Christmas Day, the night before we made plans to have our church go Christmas caroling. Most O town, most of the towns showed up and ended up having a Christmas caroling parade. Yay! So much fun. Oh, That's silver a good and memory. turquoise. That's right, because yes. mom was there when we got the ring. So. Yes, it was turquoise. See, I always think jade, and I'm like, that is the but wrong. It, it's much more of a stone look than jade. Jade is almost yeah. like, you can almost look through jade. But yeah. Anyway. Gluten-Free Monkey says, um, woo, my favorite too. Feel better, Emma. Emma, Gluten-Free Monkey says feel better. Huh? <laughs> 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 What? Good guesses, you guys. Awesome. Abraham Lincoln is a pretty sweet, awesome president. He is. Plus, he's done like everything, like he was start a those... war or solve a war, and he was keep one of those, the nation he was together, like a, he was in a, free the slaves. He was an attorney, and he didn't go to like he wasn't he didn't go to school, but he like self taught himself. I know he, he's self. He was like an attorney. He never was... went to school to become an attorney, but that's 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 cool that. Yeah. Like America back then, you could do amazing things without, yeah, having, yeah, <laughs> an education. It was awesome. It was cool. Not well, there was so can, much but... history there. Honestly, I know a lot of you guys have been to Mount Rushmore, but if you have not, there's really some cool stuff there. Yeah. Um, dig into the history. Dig into you know. We were like, why was it called Mount Rushmore? We were there, and we were like, why was it called Mount Rushmore? Because it was named after somebody. It was named after somebody, and, you know. I don't remember there's that like, fact, sorry. I don't know. It's fine. It, there's controversy over the name, and there's all yeah. kinds of weird things that people are claiming about this whole thing. And I am i don't like to go into that, but a lot of the history, the kind of actual history of the place is pretty fascinating. And it really serves as a testament to freedom and democracy yeah. in the world. Yeah. and. And, you know, it, it it's, a, brought... it's a it's a bigger, uh, what do you call it? A, it's a bigger, broader appeal than what the um, original people that wanted this had thought. Well, I, I think whoever they would have carved up there on the mountains, I think people would still have come to see them. But each of the presidents stands, represents something um, that 
the artist Borglum. Yeah. Um, that he believed that it represented yeah. America. So that was that was really cool. But it has brought so much tourism into South Dakota. Yeah. Um, and I think that has really helped the that state in mm-hmm. particular. So um, that's really good. And uh, again, it's just it is a testament to what we can do. Yeah. As a people. I well, mean, and what I really enjoyed was four hundred men, a, bosun, yeah. bosun swings and dynamite jackhammers. It was amazing to see them to build this thing. Um, but uh, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. what I just I really appreciated was just how you know they wanted to do like pictures of Lewis and Clark and Sacagawea and all this was historical. Yeah, and but, they wanted to do a couple of. Um, um, uh, a Native couple American of the Native Chiefs American chiefs. Area, yeah. However, Borglum really had, he saw bigger and he saw a broader vision of what America is. I mean, they yeah. call that that the shrine of democracy. And it really it does prove that. Not it's, that we go there and bow down. We're, at not, the we're, we're not democracy. worshiping we're not Mount worshiping. Rushmore or anything. <laughs> But God has given us these amazing it's, skills. It's a testament. It's I mean, a, even back then, that they could use the dynamite so specifically to not make a mistake. Yeah. Well, blow oops, off blew Abraham up his nose. nose. <laughs> Kaboom. Whoops. <laughs> yep. Shouldn't have done that. Whoops. Anyways, we absolutely loved it. We definitely will probably go back there another time. Spend more time... You know, our kids are all over the place, and so it's hard to sit down and read all of the history and the plaques and everything else. You like yeah. to just sit and read everything, and the I kids would. are like, I'd like to running circles well, around. Well, they the... only have like so much, like, uh, ability to absorb, and and yeah, I I don't know. They get tired after a while, and they get hungry, and so then they're wiggly and talk a lot or complain and. It's yeah. hard, yeah. but um, I don't think we had that much trouble at our last experience that you're going to tell them about now. As we were down at Lake Conroe, we were near Houston. We have we, this this membership. That, it's an ASTC, so Association of Science and Technology Centers. They do a reciprocal membership program, so if you have a membership at one of the corresponding um, museums, Mm -hmm. you can go to any of the other museums for either free for your family or a pretty big big discount. So we ended up only having to pay for Edison and for parking. So it was like $32 for us to go to the Houston Space Center. Ah! That's... It was so much fun. that That was sitting right next to NASA. I mean, so was, cool. No, we got to go on. We got to, to go Na- on to the on NASA to the, campus. The Na- NASA campus. Uh, they have a tour that you can do, and our tour is about fifty minutes. Say. It was about an hour. It was. It was rush, rush. <laughs> and that yes, it was rush from for an hour. I mean, we stopped. But it was at, cool. And we stopped at two locations. <laughs> yeah, just two. Um, but we saw the uh, training center. The astronaut training center. And it really is like the beginner's crash course for those yeah. going up to this, the International Space Station. They're and all mocked to... out. All, the space station is mocked up. They have the Soyuz um, capsule. Soyuz capsule. They have basically everything mocked up. And I think and they're also mo- mocking up future um, Yes. So well. but... if you didn't know, NASA is gearing up within the next year or two to actually go back to the moon. And they're so they're prepping up. They have a capsule called Artemis. I, I think, believe so. Yes. That is um, about ready to to leave. And so they showed a somewhat of a simple mock-up of that. It looks very similar to the original Apollo missions, um, but it's a lot more technologically advanced than the Apollo <laughs> missions. So um, everyone who has ever been an astronaut, at least in the recent yeah recent past has been through this facility that we got to look down from the catwalk into. 
and uh, and it's basically they're learning how where things are in the in the space station. It's very very how basic. to flush the toilet, how to eat, how to like you know all these basic things that they need to know kind of before they get there, so they don't have to learn like. Yeah. While you're floating job, around in like, space, you know what everything around. does inside yeah. before you get yeah. up there. Yeah. So anybody going up there has come here. So it doesn't matter if they're from. Um, Russia or from Japan or from you know any of the other nations that uh, come to the space station Mm -hmm. they go through this facility so that they can learn yeah how to how to use the equipment up there and we saw a kind of interesting correlation they showed some footage or some photos of them doing picking up moon rocks and we're like that's very familiar and we remember that um, the Cinder Hills uh, OHV area outside of Flagstaff has a large area that really resembles the moon. Yeah. And so NASA actually went out there, made craters with explosives, I believe, <laughs> and they um, went and practiced picking up and catalog- catalog- uh, cataloging rocks and specimens for their and moon we were missions in full moon gear full moon gear in but basically this was the like desert years and, ago before yeah. they went to the it was like 60s and 70s yeah. so anyway pretty but, cool that arizona was a training training ground yeah it's pretty cool yeah so <laughs> we we're like wait a minute that's right i remember that that's cool <laughs> so we camped in that area the cinder hills area right. it's yeah, a that really was a... great boondocking area um it's all just black volcanic grit sand yep. rock um a lot of people like to go out there with their um their four by f- yeah. four by fours and their dirt bikes and yeah. um a huge open space that trees don't grow in so yeah pretty cool. one other fun experience and what we'll, it definitely shared in the video uh we went south on a monday morning into and through houston and it was interesting because we were able to get into a express lane which took our trip from an hour and a half to under an hour. Yeah, and then it dumped us off in the middle of the, in the city instead of taking us, downtown. us through it. But it was weird because it was almost like driving through an a, a abandoned city. There was like hardly any cars on the road. Well, it's because it was Monday after Thanksgiving. Nobody was It was Monday after working. Thanksgiving, and it was like <laughs> 9 45. So anybody that was trying yeah. to get into work had already, in downtown had already yeah. gotten there. It was pretty good, though. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so we, at Lake Conroe, we celebrate Thanksgiving. We went to the Houston Space Center, and we celebrated Ed- Edison's fifth birthday. So he's a big yeah. five-year-old, and he's He has no excuses. He is accomplishing great things <laughs> as a five-year-old. And I'm very pleased with his ability to uh, pick up our language really yep. fast. Yeah, he's um, a talker. We have been studying about uh, vowels and... So he can recognize all the vowels and the sounds that they say. Yeah. And now we're kind of learning to differentiate between this is a long vowel sound and this is a short vowel sound. So that's a work in progress, but he's picking it up pretty quick. So I'm excited. He can read a few short words like yeah. at, cat, hat. And that book he memorized. <laughs> and the book he memorized. But he doesn't really read that one. He doesn't read it. He just knows what each of the pages Grandma say. Evelyn bought him some books for his birthday. We were received them in the mail and one of them Ed- Emma and Timothy read to him a couple of times and each page has a different picture on it that really kind of prompts his memory as to or what that, to say or that sentence and is. he says it flawlessly all the yeah. way to the end of the book and it's like it's a pretty long storybook yeah um, nursing our travel bug just said that's fun we went to a science museum in Houston there is there's a, there's a human body science museum and there's a children's museum and so one of those was going to be our backup if we couldn't get to the yeah. space center. But really, we're learning about space right now in the mm-hmm. kids' science, and so they were all about the uh, all about the space stuff. Yeah. And so, guess what our kids want to be when they grow up? They want to be astronauts or yeah. work at NASA. Or work at NASA. I said, well, you gotta you get, gotta get really your math. Good, good grades, do lots of good math, and get an engineering degree, or, or become a pilot. go become a pilot with the Air Force or something. <laughs> Then maybe you'll get into NASA. There's a lot of requirements. But the mom, don't they need people to pick up the trash too and be janitors? I'm like, they have robots for that. Yeah, they probably do need janitors at NASA, but do you really want to be a janitor? 
That's like, I just need a job, and I need it anywhere, and you can pass the background check. The background check is the big thing, yeah. 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 But honestly, like... Gary, do you remember what the um, the robots are called? They're like uh, Queen, Queen Bee. No, 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 those are the ones up in the... The ones that they were testing down in the... Um, so they had uh, like these full... Hello, auto- Charlie Grace automated- Adventures. Hello! Um, they have these full automated, you know, that's two robots. Yes, I know what they, you're talking they were, about. They they're, were programming and moving They're basically around. astronaut robots. Yeah. They're planning, I think, to send them to Mars. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, they look like humans with cool, like, spacey helmets on and everything. Why they had to make it look sci-fi? They, like, you couldn't just make it a robot with tracks that's, like, very ambidextrous. Yeah, it's like, no, it has to be a person with legs and yes. hops around. Well, there was a reason for that, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll mention it in the video. So we're trying to get you guys to look forward to that video coming out in about three Yes, four weeks. we also got to see one of the real rockets. So yeah, you we have got to see a got Saturn to watch V rocket, full and size. So again, about what time do you, when do you think you'll be editing that video? <sighs> Probably three to four weeks from now. Um, we're finishing up like we. It'll be. The, we've done a bunch of stuff. You it'll know. be right after the the. Well, it'll probably be sometime right after the um, pyramid one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes so probably after... towards the end of January. Yep. So we we're giving it all away before we actually do any videos. <laughs> well, we're trying to hype it up for our D fam so they know what's going on. <laughs> they could be anticipating the fun to come. Oh, because so much it's fun. super. So much fun. Hey, you guys. He's been working so hard. He's been <sighs> working full time where we're at right now, work camping and editing videos. So I've been managing the kids in the house and the shopping and the trips to the library and I hate yeah. shopping. Yeah. And I don't mind it. Homeschooling. Yeah. All that. Anyway. Um, so we are, yeah, we're settled for Christmas, and we would like uh, any of you to tell us uh, what you think we should do with this money that we got. Yeah, we for... want to donate $50 from our Summer to Serve campaign, and we want to give it to a charity that you guys help us choose. If you don't comment below, we'll just find a charity, maybe ourselves, to give it to. No, just kidding. <laughs> no we're not going to no, give no. it to ourselves. We will find some place to give the money to, um, but... Uh, a fun charity that would be a great uh, that we could appreciate you know not a huge massive donation but you know a donation yeah. nonetheless yeah and who knows in the future our um, fundraising might be bigger than fifty dollars so Charlie Grace said I've been hanging in the Huntsville area great. my kiddos work with NASA and the Arsenal that is really cool that's awesome that's really cool well there's a lot of amazing stuff up up in Alabama here in Texas. Yeah. I mean, there's some just amazing science and stuff going on yeah. out here. Yep. So. A South. Science. Science. <laughs> That's his... What? You use that for just about everything. When the kids ask you a silly question, like, Science. Why is this doing this? Science. <laughs> hey, it works. Uh, the kids are like, Pfft. And just huff, huff. And I'm like, That's uh, Garrett likes to tease them, and Emma doesn't take teasing very well. <laughs> and then usually the teasing goes like right over Timothy's head. Okay, you guys. Um, so during May and June, we did our little, uh, our little push, our little um, summer to serve, summer to serve experience for you. We did daily videos for a month, um, and then throughout the summer, we did look for ways to continue to bless people. One of them, we were able to send out that package of. Um, uh, paracord I, bracelets. Yep, we did like 40 plus paracord bracelets. I knitted a hat and scarf. Uh, we wrote some thank you notes to our service members and sent that all to Operation Gratitude. You can find them online. We received a letter back. Uh, it is de- dated September 29th, but we just received our mail, so that's why it's the so joys late. of traveling full time. Um, <laughs> dear Cypher. Thank you for your generous donation of six handmade items, 40 paracord bracelets, and your dedication to our mission. 
With the help of grateful Americans like you, we have delivered more than 3 million of our signature care packages to deploy troops, veterans, wounded heroes and their caregivers, military families, recruits, recruit graduates, and first responders since 2003. Wow. A care package brings joy to a service member stationed far from home and enables a veteran, wounded hero, or caregiver to feel appreciated. Many, f many for the first time. Our battalion buddies bring comfort to the children of deployed troops at a very stressful time in their young lives. When we hand deliver, when we hand deliver care pouches to new officers and recruit graduates, they kn they know that as they begin their career or service to our great nation, they are supported along the way. And the delivery of first responder care packages shows local heroes that their community values them. We recently received this email from a care package recipient deployed overseas. It says, Thank you. I wanted to personally reach out and say how much we appreciate the support you have shown from Operation Gratitude. I am currently on deployment and received one of the care packages. It has truly brought some extra joy into my life being so far from home. Please keep up the good work, as I know there are many more of my brothers and sisters in the service that will be just as grateful as me. Again, thank you very much. Uh, very respectfully, and I don't know if I can say that. AZ3FSMVAQ132 Scorpions. So that's probably the unit identification. Yeah. So probably not really a lot of, like, didn't identify the soldier probably because he's deployed. Um, but they it's just from made that. it so that we could, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so thank you again for your thoughtfulness and wonderful patriotic spirit. Every single donation we receive furthers our mission, and the recipients of your generosity will remember your kindness forever. As a veteran and the CEO of this amazing organization, I will always be appreciative of your support and encouragement for Operation Gratitude. You are truly making a difference. With gratitude, James C. Johnson, and he was a major general. USAF. U.S. Air Force retired mm -hmm. CEO. Uh, I'm thinking, what if we did the donation, see if there's a way we can donate to Operation Gratitude? I don't know if they take money, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll look see. into that. We'll see, see if anybody else suggests uh, a great um, opportunity. Um, it was really fun to make these the crocheted yeah. items. You can knit if you want. Um and those the paracord bracelets are paracord really bracelets easy are to make. Fun. Your dad yeah. got into it mm -hmm. really fast. Well, he does paracord bracelet <laughs> galore, crazy. So I had a pattern on a sheet of paper to like measure it out to start doing my paracord bracelet. He made bracelet. a jig. He made a jig for me, out camping, no less, <laughs> with his pocket knife <laughs> and a log. <laughs> and he made a jig. That's my and dad. I was like, oh my gosh. My anyway, dad has made fun. his own uh, cedar wood plank canoe. Yeah. Or uh, cedar strip canoe. That's right. <laughs> so he is very, very, very creative um, when it comes to woodworking. Well, we're almost uh, done here. Yeah. Um, we are all settled in here um, in eastern Texas for Christmas. We will probably be here through the new year. Yep. We have plans floating around for the next step after we we're waiting uh, for here. a few little pieces to fall into place before we really finalize our plans. But right now we're just enjoying being in one place for a little bit. And we're looking forward to Christmas, New Year's. We're going to go see Santa next week. Yeah. If everybody's healthy. I quarantined Emma yesterday so her brothers wouldn't get sick. <laughs> uh, um, we're going to, I think one of the days before Christmas... There's this big, like, outdoor thing at one of the churches in the area with yeah. caroling and the nativity scene, no, live nativity hot scene, hot chocolate, and, roasting okay. marshmallows over campfires. I don't know. Uh, Christmas carols. It'll they be had fun. a list, like, three paragraphs long this is of what all we're the things doing. we're doing. And we're like, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> we got here, and they gave us a list of a lot of the items, or in a lot of the activities. Yeah. In the area, we're like, well, that was last night, and that was well. I can't, we can't really do uh, that. That's tonight. One. That one's tonight. No, but there's things throughout the next couple of weeks, so yeah, it'll be we fun. just had to plan it. And this area is also has the a drive-through Christmas park. Yeah, I think that's all they do. Um, we're for not, the year for we're not gonna like money. 
We're not going to go through it's that. It's 20 bucks. 20 25 dollars for a car to yeah. go through. And it's I'm cash right. only. We're like, "Oh." And usually <laughs> there is a line uh, about 3 miles long. Sometimes it goes almost yeah. to where we're at. It's like people have never seen Christmas lights before. That's a it's a tradition. Could be. That so could they'll be. wait for hours to, to go to go drive through their nativity <laughs> their their Christmas the lights. Christmas. Oh, that Hi. was a door banging close really loudly. <laughs> well, right. are you guys awake? <laughs> D-Fam, thank you so much for joining us. It's been so much to hang out with you. Um, thank you for guessing on Emma's... Most of them got it guess. right. Yeah. Except I for mean, me, even yeah. though I knew the answer. I didn't... <laughs> You intentionally put the wrong answer on I did. You were trying I'm just trying to get to... people to involve it, get in the conversation. Join the chat. <laughs> but apparently they don't. Anyway, <laughs> we we wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Maybe we'll jump on live ne near the New Year and tell you what's going to happen for our next season. We don't know yet, but um, we are all we are praying for all of you to have uh, a Merry Christmas. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live, live life, life intentionally. intentionally. Bye, y'all. Merry Christmas.